Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate Sonar Cube with Azure DevOps AML pipeline. I have already integrated Sonar Cube from Azure DevOps using Classic pipeline. So if you wanted to learn about that, you can actually visit this particular website. I will also post this link right below the video as well. So this particular diagram talks about how you can integrate using Classic pipeline. Okay, you see here, uh, this is actually not a modern way of doing, right? But this particular video, what we are going to do is we are going to build Azure DevOps AML pipeline, and then we are going to integrate Sonar Cube with it. And then we will perform some static code analysis for a Java Spring Boot project, what we have configured in GitHub. If you look at this diagram, we have already configured a Java project in GitHub. So this is my Spring Boot Java project configured in GitHub. We are going to build Azure DevOps AML pipeline and then the pipeline would check out code from GitHub and then we would uh, integrate with SonarCube to perform static code analysis. And then we are going to capture the results in the SonarCube dashboard. And then we will see all the bug report, code smells, any, any kind of a technical debt with the code. You're going to see that in the sonar cube dashboard okay so that's exactly what we are going to do in this video great guys so let's get started so if you see here uh, the prerequisite is you know we need to have azure devops account so this is my azure devops dashboard okay i have already created a project underneath okay so this is where we are going to build a pipeline so i will come back to this in a minute and then we also need to make sure that our sonar cube is configured so i have already configured my sonar cube in aws cloud but again the sonar cube can be hosted anywhere uh, in this example i'm actually using sonar cube which is set up in aws cloud but if you wanted to learn how to configure sonar cube in azure cloud you can click on this particular link so you can provision a vm and then you can configure sonar cube um, I have an example of, you know, setting up Sonar Cube using Docker Compose. So if you wanted, you know, you can also follow that as well. So as long as Sonar Cube is available in the public network, then you should be able to integrate uh, from your Azure DevOps. Okay. And then our Java project. So that is our Java project configured over here. So perfect. And then we also need to have a service connection in order to integrate with GitHub. I have already done that. So if you see here, if I go to project settings, service connections, there you go, you see here, right? So I have already, I think one of the thing, I don't know which one it is, probably this one, I have already integrated, uh, maybe not, probably this one. There you go, you see here? So you might want to create personal access token in GitHub, and then using the token, uh, you would be able to integrate with github okay so the service connection needs to be created and then we also need to create a service connection to integrate with uh, sonar cube from azure devops so i will actually show you how we can actually do that okay so i will definitely show you how to do that and the last but not the least we also need to have sonar cube plugin installed in azure devops as well this is very important because um, you know, we are going to integrate with uh, Sonar Cube from Azure DevOps. So the plugin needs to be installed. So how would you do that? You can actually click on this particular link. So this is actually nothing but uh, marketplace.visualstudio.com. So this is where you can add any kind of a, you know, third party plugin, uh, you know, or add on whatever you call, right, with Azure DevOps. So this is the place, right, you see here. And then you can search for Sonar Cube, and you can search. Okay, so you see here. So I have already installed this particular add-on uh, in my Sonar Cube in Azure DevOps. So I'm not going to do that. It is already there. And, and if you click on Get It Free, it will clearly tell you that this plugin is already added. You see here, this is already added. Okay. So yeah, so that's it, right? So let's get started here. Um, the first step would be we need to actually create a service connection. So how do you do that? Let's go to service connections here. 
I already have one entry here, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to delete that one. Not a problem. So let me uh, click on a, a new service connection, click on new service connection, and then search for Sonar Cube. Okay. And then this is where we are going to enter our server URL and everything. Okay. But make sure you have already installed Sonar Cube plugin as part of your Azure DevOps. If you don't install the plugin, this option will not come. Okay. All right. So what is the server URL? So this is my Sonar Cube. I have already configured. Let me go ahead and then enter the URL. Perfect. And then it is asking for the token. So the way you are going to integrate with Sonar Cube is we need to create a token in Sonar Cube. So log in into Sonar Cube dashboard. Um, you know you have to be an administrator. Go to my account. Go to security. This is where we are going to create a token. So you can say my Azure DevOps token. Make sure you select global analysis token. Uh, again, depending on the password policy, uh, you know, at your company, you're going to go with either of these options. Okay. Uh, but I'm okay with 30 days. So click on generate. There you go. So that is my Sonar Cube token. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste that over here. Perfect. And then let's give some uh, name for our service connection. I wanted to give my Sonar Cube. And then make sure you grant access permission to all the pipeline. Make sure you check this and then save. So there you go, right? That's it. So the service connection got created with Sonar Cube. So we are actually good. So we have already done all these steps, right? So we have created the token and then we have created the service connections. Perfect. So everything is looking good. All right. So now all we have to do is go ahead and then create AML pipeline. Okay. So I'm going to use this particular uh, project dashboard. Okay. So go to pipelines and then click on create pipeline. Since we are going to go with the AML pipeline, so I'm not going to use the classic editor. Okay. So if you wanted to learn how to do that, you can definitely watch my another steps. I will post this link right below the video as well. So you can learn how to do that. So we are going to go with AML pipeline. Since our source code is in GitHub, we are going to go ahead with this option. So click on GitHub. And then it is going to ask for your GitHub repository. So again, right, I have already authenticated with GitHub by creating a service connection. So that's the reason why all this option coming. And this is my repo, right? Okay. So that is right here. So go ahead and then select that one. And then it is asking for how do you want to configure your pipeline? Right? So there are various uh, pipeline templates available for us. I know this is just like, you know, we are going to uh, create a very simple AML pipeline and then we are going to integrate with Sonar Cube. Uh, since this is a Java based project, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, select this option. But let's say you wanted to uh, create a pipeline and then you wanted to deploy into Azure app service, then you might want to click on this one. Okay. But as part of, you know, this demo, I'm okay with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and then select Maven. There you go, guys. Do you all see here? So this has automatically created a pipeline code for me. So we have to, you know, tweak this a little bit. So let's check a couple of things here. So if you see here, there is a JDK version 1.8. So please do understand that guys, you know, if you wanted to uh, integrate with the sonar cube using maven okay so this will not be supported so we need to change into jdk 17 or 1.17 okay so we have to use that okay and then what is our maven goal if you guys remember if you wanted to integrate with the sonar cube the maven goal has to be sonar colon sonar okay and then most importantly what we have to do is we have to add a task for performing or, or preparing our Sonar Cube environment, right? So click on the show assistant here. Make sure you go right above the task and then just search for Sonar Cube. So again, right, you have to install your Sonar Cube add-on. If you don't install the 
add on then this option will not show up okay so select this one and then all you have to do is select the service connection what we have configured earlier and then let's go ahead and then use this option maven okay so i think that is it pretty much over there i don't think you need to do anything uh, just for this particular demo so go ahead and then click on add there you go guys do you all see here so this has added this particular task wonderful okay and then this is very important if you don't put sonar colon sonar uh, you know then it will not integrate with sonar cube so this is the maven goal that needs to be entered okay perfect and then if you actually see here uh, we are also creating some j unit test results we are actually storing in this particular uh, you know path right in this particular file so if you wanted to capture that we can also do that as well uh, so let's actually go back to the code i have already provided the entire code over here okay uh, so let's also go ahead and then add this particular uh, task publish test results again if you want you can also do that over here as well you can also go to search task and then say publish and then just scroll down look for there you go this one right publish test results so make sure you're in the right place let's select this one and then i'm i'm okay with all these options okay so this is perfectly fine and then click on add there you go so that's it right so this has added this one so why i'm actually adding this is if i wanted to see the you know uh, all the unit test results execution as part of the pipeline you know we can actually you know see that as well so that's all all right so i think that's pretty much over there uh, let me make sure we have the right file path okay and then uh, if you want to fail the build you can also do that as well let me just make sure i i do that okay let's just take care of that as well perfect okay so make sure you know you are picking the results from this particular path right that's what it is and then fail task on failed unit test i mean if you wanted to fail the bill you can also do that as well perfect i think that's that's it over there okay i know i know it says that it has to be a 1.17 but 17 also will work fine so that is also fine i think you can ignore that so that's it right i don't see you know anything else needs to be done uh, as part of this particular uh, demo and then this is our build agent so we wanted to use ubuntu as a build agent so this agent is actually hosted in azure cloud uh, so we are using uh, azure devops hosted agent not self hosted agent if you wanted to use a self hosted agent uh, your self hosted agent needs to have jdk 17 install and whatnot okay so that's a slightly a different configuration okay great so why don't we go ahead and then click on save and run so the moment you say save and run what this will actually do is this will create this particular pipeline aml file as part of our github repository so refresh here click on refresh there you go do you all see here so that's the pipeline code which has been committed uh, you know over here all right so pipeline also started running as well so click on the job there you go so right now it is in the process of performing maven build so let's see wow so let's click on maven task over here let's scroll all the way down so as you can see here guys you know we are able to integrate with sonar cube okay and then as you can see here you know we are using this particular java version okay we are using maven right okay so we are able to load all the settings and everything all the uh, rules and everything and then we are able to perform the sonar scan and we can also see that the analysis got successful and then we should be able to see the results and then there are some exception i'm not too much worried about this one i think you can i think there is some issue with my uh, with my probably one of my maven dependencies but i'm not too much concerned about it 
So that's it, right? And then if you see here, our unit test also has been updated as well, okay? So where you can actually see this is, uh, go to here and then click on this one and then go to test. There you go, wow, see here? So I have actually created uh, two unit tests. So both have been passed, all right? But what we are trying to do is most importantly, we are actually integrating with SonarCube. So there you go, do you all see here? So it has created this particular entry. So this is the, the, Java, the Spring Boot Java project, right? Okay, so as you can see here, uh, the analysis happened, okay, like two minutes ago. So luckily there are no, no defects, right? So you can literally see that, you know, everything is working fine. So literally there are no defects as part of our code. But if there are any defects, you're going to see it, see it right here. All right. Yeah, so this is how guys, you know, this is how you can, uh, you know, perform static code analysis by integrating with SonarCube using Azure DevOps AML pipeline. Thank you for watching my video. I hope this was really useful to you all. Thank you.